Hey guys, it's Tiff, and I'm back with my completed layout for the SNL challenge. And again, just in case this is uh, your first time joining me for this series that I'm doing, um, this is a challenge that Sandra and Lisa hold every week on Sunday. And this week, they let me pick the challenge and to join in with them. So I was really excited, and I chose kitchen utensils. The reason I chose that is because Sandra had just sent me this really awesome huge anchor cookie cutter and I totally plan to use it for cookies but I also used it for this layout so I watercolored this anchor and I used this as an a background for that or um, a stencil for that and then I used some different size circles from my kitchen this is from a pickle jar which you can see are the bigger um, journaling spots here and then I use this for my pepper. This is kind of the medium. And then I had one from a water bottle that I used for my smaller ones. Um, but I've since got rid of that water bottle. So, um, I have two videos prior to this showing the process. One is the process of how I use the circles to make a mask with this gold lame mist. And then the other one is using this anchor as a stencil to um, paint my anchor. So since I last um, post, since I posted those two videos, I went ahead and finished the layout. Um, the process was getting kind of long um, because this is a more artistic layout. It's not as much as just laying ring paper. Not that that's all that I always do, but you know what I mean. Um, it was just getting to be pretty long, so I felt like I wanted to share the rest of my layout. So I use this gold EK Success pen to outline the circles that I did my journaling in. And then I did my journaling with an American Crafts Slick Writer, and it's in blue. So I did that in the larger three. And then I took wood veneers and put it in each of the other circles. And I sprinkled some sequins throughout, added my title with some treasure thickers, and it just says St. Augustine. And that's what this layout is about. As you can see, there's no photo. So the anchor and St. Augustine are the focal points of the layout and basically in the journaling I just talk about how um, we took our second date there we got engaged there and now we visit there um, with our family so it's a very special place near and dear to my heart as well as my husband's and I really wanted to put that in our book but I don't have a lot of pictures from the first two events and I really wanted to put all three events onto one page so this was kind of my way to do that. So um, thank you so much, Sandra and Lisa, for the challenge. It was so much fun. I love how my layout turned out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, set of videos from me. If you have any questions or would like to leave a video response, you can do that here on my channel. You could also check out Lisa's channel and leave a video response to her video. She's Maggie Milo. Or Sandra, she's O Snap Gonzo. Or all three of us are also members on the Will Craft for Supplies um, Facebook group. And you can have an album on there and upload that as a member as well. So lots of options of how to leave a response to this. And um, I'd love to see what you come up with. Take care, guys. Bye.